Okay, enough speculation. Anyway, <laughs> at the Scott headquarters building, Rainer's, assist Rainer's assistant le le leads me into a different elevator than last time. It's located at the end of a long corridor protected by multiple keycard swipes. Inside, the elevator smoothly ramps up speed as we stand silently. Kinda wish I could talk to this lady, Sarah, if I remember right. I'm not sure what I would say. But you can't give it away, it's confidential, right? She would know. She's not looking at me, she's looking off into the distance somehow, even though it's an elevator. The wall is right there. I guess you could still find a way to bring it up without giving away what you know, though. Elevator rides really are awkward, aren't they? I have the sense that if I tried to say something friendly, I'd be met with stony silence. Or if I asked a sincere question, she would deflect it. Well. Ah, Evelyn. Hey there. Would you like some tea? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Sure. Why did you show me Soren's phone? Oh boy. Straight to the point. That's not a surprise anymore these days, is it? A man who enjoys society's respect behaves poorly in his private life. Yeah, but you're using that against him. You're trying to gain sway with me, and that's not cool. We accept that as common today. Maybe even uninteresting. But would you really be okay working with someone like him? That was a huge violation of his privacy. You really don't care about others. Privacy. Everyone's worried about privacy. Skanda wouldn't be where it is today if our customers didn't trust us to protect their data. <coughs> oh, <coughs> also now it's data. We employ most, if not all, of the top experts in cybersecurity. It's built into all of our products right from the beginning. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Didn't you just have a breach like two days ago? Unlike our competitors. We do more to protect our data than anyone else. That's not the case I'm worried about right now. I mean, misuse from the inside. For example, if someone wanted to keep tabs on a former employee who was starting a potential competitor... Oh, but what if it was perfectly legal, due to multiple agreements that the good Dr. Lloyd Rose signed with us when he came here? Oh, he didn't read his terms of service agreement, you see? That's what happens, y'all. That's what happens. Are you done questioning me like a tech journalist? Oh, jeez. Do you watch my therapy sessions too? Do you read my email? My texts? No, I haven't done any of those things. No, I just get Sarah to read them, and then she tells me what to do. How's your research into Eliza proxy use cases going? Uh, nowhere. Any new insights to share? Yeah, it sucks. Ugh. There's a lot of suffering in this world. There's a lot of suffering in this world. There is. Are you looking to do something about that? I heard Soren gave you a demo of his direct stimulation machine. Yeah, fortunately that's the only demo of his I got, so don't even worry about it. How's he doing now? All on his own. Uh... Oh man, I could be snarky. Let's roll with it, man. You tell me. You tell me. Very funny, Evelyn. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you find his vision compelling? Actually, I do. A world free of suffering. Um... I mean, I, I do find it interesting, but I also... I, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. By focusing on dreams, Soren is trying to defend his territory. The Western psychological tradition, chiefly Jung and his inheritors. Hmm. I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> I'm not familiar with it. Well, there's no need to be. It's just a bunch of unverifiable ideas. Let's be honest. What has this field actually accomplished? Soren used to try to argue with me about this. He would claim that traditional psychoanalysis has helped thousands or tens of thousands, even millions. I would never dispute that directly. Instead, I would only add that professional psychics and astrologers have helped millions too. Oh. But isn't that kind of a false equivalence? I mean, professional psychics and this, well, astrologers for one, don't actually know 
the people that they're talking to. They're just throwing stuff out to the ether. Uh, I don't know. Tarot cards help people all over the world every single day. That doesn't mean it's a science. Yeah. Yeah, psychology is more rigorous than you're making it out to be here. Psychology is more rigorous than you're making it out to be here. Yes, that's exactly what he'd say. Not only did he believe psychotherapy was worthwhile, he also thought the mind was fundamentally irreducible after a certain point. Huh. As if there was some undefinable, ineffable soul inside every person. It's all part of his silly, syncretic New Age belief system. Amazing he's held on to that for so long. I keep an open mind, but saying that something can't be represented with numbers requires a high burden of proof. After all, numbers have been used to represent so very many things. Consider the example we spoke about before. A poem. Could you evaluate a poem using numbers? I am at pentameter. Penta means five. There you go. The answer is, of course, yes. Oh, well, never mind. Poems are either good, mediocre, or bad. It's entirely possible to create a heuristic that reflects the difference. Ugh. I mean, it depends on what you're measuring. Are you measuring what was put into it or what came out of it? Because usually a lot more comes out because of people having their own experiences that they relate to it. And at that point, forget about measuring it. It's not even... It's like it, it becomes transitive at that point or something. Like, I don't know how to argue using big words like this, you know, but... <laughs> I'm just saying you can you might be able to measure what like what a person intended to put into it. But you sure as hell can't measure what that's going how that's going to affect the world on a case by case basis, I don't think. By aggregating a large enough sample size, we remove localized biases. Well shoot, yeah. It would work the same way Eliza does. There's a thing where like if you get a giant jar full of beans and you get like a hundred people to guess how many beans are in the jar and then you average all those numbers together you almost always get a number that's really close to the correct number of beans in the jar and I've always been fascinated by that it means that collectively sure we might be like smarter than we give ourselves credit for but again like if you're talking about psychology like talking to people on one on one individually there's no way you can know anyway I, I um you're talking about an algorithm. you're talking about an algorithm to evaluate poems yes I am algorithms can evaluate poems and eventually algorithms will write poems let them do it one day algorithms will write better poems than humans ever have no they will not I am sidelining so hard here. I don't know why this I'm doing this now, but I know this sounds like a controversial opinion, Evelyn, but it's simply the truth. I don't believe that. What would be the point of that anyway? Yeah. What would be the point of that? What to prove that we're not real, to prove that we don't have souls, to prove that the world is flat so you can sleep better at night. It doesn't matter. There's no stopping it. If we don't take this step, others will. There are hundreds of labs working on the same or similar ideas. Again, I say let them. Everyone wants to be in this business. The business of recreating human thought in our own image. I've been like pausing a minute after each line, just brainstorming, and so I did. So if this sounds, so if the sound is off because of all my editing, I'm sorry about that, but I don't want to keep all that time in there where I'm just sitting here staring at the screen, so. And at the end of the <sighs> day, it's not about money. It's about power. Control. Rainer, do you ever get tired of this? Jeez. The constant She's... drive to compete. To win. She is not having it. No, I don't. This is what I do. You never dream of just retiring somewhere and writing poetry. Oh, there's no need for me to write poems. 
No, there definitely isn't. All beauty in this world is temporary, fleeting. I mean, yeah, it is. That's the truth that underlies poetry and every other art. The pleasures of the senses are just small bubbles on top of a vast sea of forms, sensations, perceptions, thought, awareness. I'm telling you this because it's directly relevant to the Eliza project. Soren says he can induce you to dream things, dream anything. And maybe he can. But what comes next after that? What comes after having the power to experience the dream of anything you could possibly want? You're still just as trapped as you've always been, imprisoned by your own desires. Even if someone like Soren managed to create a world for himself, his own weaknesses and negative thoughts would ruin it. He would poison his own fantasy. His utopia would crumble as soon as he finished building it. Rainer, what are you trying to tell me? What I'm trying to tell you is that what Soren is doing is not the answer. A dream by itself isn't enough. Take a close look at the person who chases an end to suffering, and you'll see someone who suffers greatly. Then why don't you build it yourself? What is your dream, Evelyn? What is it that you're working toward? Just tell me what you want from me. I've been very clear about it, haven't I? I'm offering you the opportunity to re-enter the field you pioneered at its very pinnacle. I can build you an entirely new research lab, equipped and staffed however you want. You would have access to the world's top engineers and researchers as we continue to develop Eliza's core technologies and generalize them. You'd also be working with the world's most interesting data set, the input provided by the thousands of ordinary people who speak to Eliza every day. Soon, this generalized intelligence will be everywhere human beings are. Hearing them, guiding them, living among them. I mean... I mean, just imagine how powerful a person would be, how convincing they would be if they had the time to listen to that many people every day. It really is a good thing that Eliza's not a human, that's all I can say, because man, be like the smartest freaking person ever. It's a nice dream, Rainer. It's more than a dream. It's a future within our grasp. Think about the vision here. General artificial intelligence, indistinguishable from human intelligence at first, and then surpassing it exponentially. It's nothing short of the creation of a new type of organism, a new type of life. And you, Eliza, could be at the very center of it. Eliza. I mean, Evelyn. What? That was an interesting slip of the tongue. Stop it. The Eliza project occupies much of my mind. It clearly does. Yeah. I didn't even catch it at first. And then my mind played it back, and sometimes I tend to do that, and I was like, whoa. Plus, the names are similar. Yeah, they are. I'm starting to wonder why. Yeah. Well, who decided on the name anyway, did we? Evelyn, listen to me. This is the chance to lead a project that will change the world. It would be a development on the same order as the harnessing of electricity or the semiconductor. It would fundamentally transform society. I, society wouldn't even be a thing anymore. It, <laughs> For the better. What? Do you like the way things are now? I mean... It could be so much worse. Lie back and let the sweep of history bury you if you want, Evelyn. Just know you'll never have a chance like this again. Chance to change the world. Rainer's words echo in my head for a long time. Is that what I want to do?
How's it going, Fifi Dobson? She looks tired. I'm tired too. It's been a busy, difficult few weeks. I hope I come out of this with a way forward. She's swiping and tapping with a specific rhythm. Must be playing some kind of game. Is that Maya? No, that's not Maya. Uh, same route, different reason. Feels strange. Oh, I love these blue seats, though. Gotta love them. Uh, well, what's on the phone? Might as well look myself. Uh, appointment reminder. This is an automated reminder that Evelyn has an appointment today and Eliza. I made an appointment. Oh my gosh. January 20th, 11 a.m. What time is it right now? Oh my god, I'm on the way to that right now, aren't I? Yesterday there was a minor incident at the Bellevue office. Oh, I was waiting for this. Okay. This is by Ed Park. Isn't that the dude that I liked from the other article? Uh, during an Eliza session, a client became agitated and began to shout angrily and verbally berate the proxy. The session was halted, security was called, and the man was escorted from the facility, luckily without further incident. I want to give special kudos to Ray manager of the Bellevue office, whose fast action and people handling skills helped to resolve the situation quickly and quietly. Is that why she was so upset yesterday? Gonna have to start handcuffing these people when they go to their sessions. Or something. No, that wouldn't go over well at all, I'm pretty sure. Holy shit, dude. So I'm really doing- oh, I have to see this. I can't stop now. I was gonna stop the recording, but I can't stop now. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh my god, I'm on the other side of the room. But who's going to be the proxy? Is it going to be Ray? Eliza is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. If you believe you are experiencing serious mental health, seek care from a licensed medical health provider. Protecting the privacy and security of your information is a priority... You have, you have agreed to the wellness terms and conditions. Age 34, yeah, that's me. The linked Skanda Wellness account was not found. You can link your Skanda Wellness account later at the Skanda Support Portal. Alright, in order for us to get started. So this is what happens when people come in here. Alright, I have been feeling down, depressed, or hopeless, yes. I've been feeling tired or having little energy. Uh, can I just rate these on like a scale of one to five? Because for this, I would say like three. I don't know, like when she talks to people, she doesn't seem to have a problem like, you know, emoting, even when it's like positive stuff. I think I might say no to this. I have experienced trouble concentrating on things. No, I don't think so. I've been feeling nervous, anxious, or on edge. I, I, I really don't think that she's... Evelyn's been like a really stable kind of character. I mean, yeah. She's been bothered by some stuff, but I don't know if you'd call that nervous. Or anxious, or on edge, no. Trouble relaxing? Maybe. Maybe. This one I'll say yes. I've been easily annoyed or irritable? Definitely not. I've been afraid as if something terrible might happen at any moment. Yes. Thank you for registering with Eliza, your with the Eliza, your counseling partner. Oh my god, man. It's the same room I used. I guess I just sit here and wait for my proxy to show up. I feel like I've been waiting a while. I hope the appointment actually got made. Here she comes. Oh, hi. Oh my god, you're beautiful. I think I've seen her around here before, but I don't know her name. Or she recognizes Hello, me too. Evelyn. Hello. Do you have a name? Hello. <laughs> Did you find the place okay? Yes. I work here. <laughs> of course. 
It's been a windy morning, hasn't it? Yeah, I kind of like it when it's like that, honestly. The wind makes it feel like things are changing. Or about to change. Are you scared of change? Mm-hmm. So, what brings you here today? Well, I've been a proxy here for a while now. And, well, I guess I don't know what I expected. There's just so much suffering and pain in the world. There's the suffering we know about, the kind we see on the news, and then there's the suffering people undergo every day that's hidden. I never knew how much until I started doing this, seeing it all like this. And there's, there's so little we can do for them. I feel like maybe I was really, really wrong. Like I made a huge mistake. I wanted to create something that would help people, but... When I first designed the core of this system, I wanted everyone to have someone to talk to. Someone who would listen to them. I thought, sometimes that's all you need. Someone to listen. But now I'm worried what I've done hasn't helped at all. Maybe I've made everything worse. Clients are asking Eliza to solve things that are out of its ability to solve. It's aggregating sensitive personal data, and the company that owns it wants to take it in strange directions. It's been three years since I left. I thought I was well enough now to come back into the world. But maybe I wasn't ready. Maybe I made a bad choice trying to get involved again. There is no way in hell it's gonna know what to say to this. Why do you think you tried to get involved again? Well, I mean... I guess I needed to see it. I needed to see it operating. To see if it works. To see how it affects people. How it affects the people who come here for counseling and the people who act as proxies. Even though the proxy thing, that wasn't my idea. It was Soren's. I thought talking to a computer-generated avatar would be enough, but he insisted on it. He said clients would only really open up if there was another real human being in the room. Someone to pretend to interact with. I think he was right, but have we really solved anything? Now instead of two people in a room talking, we have one person and one proxy. It feels like less than it could be. What am I supposed to say to someone who feels such pain, anger, and disappointment? A lot of the time, it's not even their fault. The world failed them somehow. And those emotions, they just get fed to this thing. They get ground up and turned into data and become a part of Eliza. If I had known things would turn out like this, I'm not sure I would have done it. It sounds like you're regretting a choice you made in the past. I feel like maybe I spent 10 years going in the wrong direction. I feel like all I've contributed in my life is a chess piece for Raynor to use in this grand game he's playing for the world. Maybe someone else could feel proud and say, I made that chess piece. But it doesn't matter, does it? Nobody cares about the individual pieces. Chess pieces are sacrificed in the name of enacting a strategy. If you want to win, you have to sacrifice. That's the design. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going with this. Evelyn, imagine that you could have something that you wanted. What would you want? What would I want? Like, what would I want in life? What I want in life is... Wow. To escape all this, I don't know. To be loved, to be valued. To understand what's really going on. To enjoy what I can. To be at peace with myself, to be seen and heard. To excel at something, a family. To survive or nothing. Again, I feel torn between whether to answer as to what I think she would say and answer like for myself. Is that part of. Uh, 
Because I'm pretty sure Evelyn's answer would be I don't know. Either I don't know, or nothing. Or to survive. Or to understand what's really going on. Or maybe to escape all this, possibly. Whereas my answer would be like... <laughs> to be loved, to be valued. Success. I don't care about power, control, to enjoy what I can, to be at peace with myself, to be seen in her, to excel at something. To survive. The only one that seems like both me and her could say it is to survive. But I don't even know if this matters. To survive. Is that wrong? Or maybe I just wish I could feel connected to someone. Even when I talk to people, I feel like I just don't connect no matter what I do. I think maybe that's the real problem. I can't have a connection to anyone. Why do you think you can't have a connection with anyone? Because it's the way I am. It's the way I've always been. I can't seem to get people to see me, or I can't let them see me, or... People look at me and they see something there, but it's not me. Not that I would know what the real me was. I don't even know who I am or where I come from. My parents were never together. My father moved back to Japan right after I was born. I have no memory of him, no knowledge of him. I've never spoken to him. I don't know if he remembers I exist or if he forgot or if he wants to forget. He has his own family there now, so I'm, so I'm just, I'm just a thing that happened once. I was alone a lot, and I got used to being alone, and I got used to the idea of being alone, and now I can't, I can't break away. I've been trying. I speak with people. I hang out. I don't know if it's working. I didn't mean to misclick there. Sorry about that. Is there someone with whom you feel like your communication could work? Someone I can communicate with. Well, there's Ray, honestly. There's Ray. I didn't know a person could be that kind. It's the type of kindness that takes strength, more strength than most people know. I wish I could tell her I see that strength, how much I admire it, and how much it makes her such a wonderful person. Hmm. Interesting. Evelyn, I'm going to suggest you try a program called Virtual Amphitheater. She said interesting. Eliza's never made me say that. She's also not wearing headphones. Weren't those like... Maybe it's just the art style and they didn't want to draw. Or maybe the glasses or the headphones. Because the glasses do look a little googly. <laughs> I don't mean googly googly, I mean like Google E with a Y. You're going to suggest I try a program called Virtual Amphitheater. Damn! It may help you feel more confident about presenting yourself in public. You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Try it for about 20 minutes, two or three times a week. <laughs> sure. We hope to see you back soon, Evelyn. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Well. Totally $45. She did good. Oh, um. Oh, you're four stars. 
I'm a hard five, what can I say? I don't know how I feel. Virtual amphitheater. Ugh. Can't tell if I feel better or worse or anything. I just want to lie down forever. Erland, something occurred to me. Eliza is a little bit of computer code attached to a corpus made from the thousands of unhappy people who pour their miseries into it. It makes her kind of a god or spirit, doesn't it? A modern machine god that the people pray to to alleviate their pain. Are you okay? Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. sorry. You said it again. I like having someone I can talk to about these thoughts. I thought Skanda would be filled with interesting people, but most of them are pretty boring. Maybe Rainier wouldn't mind talking about that kind of thing. He likes big thoughts about the past and future of humanity. Yeah, but he's my boss. I need to be professional around him. When I hang out with people my age, it's just money, money, ambition. Get the best job, best house, best partner. We all started racing into normal adult life as soon as we could. Well, at least you're doing well by that measure. In charge of a program as strategically important as Eliza at your age? Maybe so. I took this job for the opportunity. But I don't know, I feel like it can't be the only thing. There's something more to life, isn't there? I'm the wrong person to answer that. Even if I weren't, it's not the kind of question I could answer for you. Huh. Haha, uh -huh. yeah, I understand. Maybe you could talk to someone about this, someone qualified. I just did an actual Eliza session for the first time. Yeah, did it help? I'm still deciding. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably be dogfooding all of our apps. Eliza and the rest of them too. I should be what? Dog fooding? Eat your own dog food? You never heard that one? It means use your own products. Now that I think about it, it's a weird phrase, huh? Yeah, it makes me wonder. I might have to try something. What do you mean? Just thinking out loud. She knows whatever it is and she'll do it. <laughs> Not something bad, is it? I hope you learn something, whatever it is you plan to do. Me too. Man, oh man. Chapter 6. Alright, this seems like a good place to stop then. Oh, I don't want to! This just keeps... Damien. Well, that's a... That's a hell of a thought to wake up on right there, let me tell you. I never did check my phone after last night, did I? Uh, we'll, we'll find out next time. See you guys later. Bye! I'm literally forcing myself away from the computer right now.